Today is day 6 of the month of machine 2013. Today's video is all about finding the right sample for your drum kits. One of machine's best features is the library browser as it makes it so easy to hone in on the right sample. First we need to go into browse mode on the controller so we're going to go ahead and click the browse button up in the top left of the controller. Then we're going to use knob 2 to go to the right bank which is going to be drums. Then we're going to use the type and go down to hi-hat open. In browse mode, button number 4 is for the prehear option. With prehear on, you can listen to the samples in the browser as you select them. To turn prehear on, simply press button 4 on the controller. Alternatively, you can press the speaker looking icon at the bottom of the browser in the software. You also have the ability to change the volume of the samples that you hear by adjusting the slider just to the right of that speaker icon in the software. With prehear enabled, you can use knobs 5 to 8 to scroll through the different samples and listen to them as you go through them. You can also use buttons 5 and 6 to go to the previous and next sample in the list. When you find a sample that you like, press button 8 to load that sample into the selected sound slot. Now you can go ahead and create a pattern using that sound. What takes machine sample browsing experience to the next level is the ability to replace samples while retaining the patterns. So if this hi-hat isn't exactly what I'm looking for, I can go back to the browser find a new hi-hat, so I'll just go down, and maybe I like this one, and then select load. Now what I've done is I've replaced that sample while retaining the pattern. An alternative to this method would be to use machine's auto load function. To enable auto load, you want to go ahead and click on this button here, which looks like a circular arrow that is underneath the browser in the software. With auto load turned on, the sample that you click on in the browser will automatically replace the sample that is loaded in the selected sound slot. So right now you can see that we have open hi-hat AR60's late B127.1 loaded into the first sound slot on group A. But if I go ahead and for example click on open hi-hat 909, you'll see that it replaces that sample automatically. I should point out that with auto load enabled, you cannot use the pre here function. And with the prehear function enabled, you cannot use auto load. So you have to choose between one or the other, but of course you can switch between them at any time. What's great about the auto load function is that it allows you to replace the audio sample as it's playing. So what I'm gonna do now is play our pattern and then change the audio sample so you can hear how the auto load function works. 